go check them out, see what they're doing. All right, gotta go in quiet. If they see me, I'm dead. How you feeling? Throw a rock, that ought to distract them. I heard you better go check that out. How much longer do you think we got? How the hell do I know? Bug out with the docks. Stay in the shrubs, they can't see me in there. What are you doing? You doing all right? Got everything you need. You okay? Jesus, the okay, stay low, stay low. It's freezing up. Check the thermo in your suit. Let's start a rainy yep. Fuck you, sir. Yeah, I hear you. Sarah, he had an ID badge. What was the name? O'Brien. Shut up about it. All the way out to Three Finger Jack. He's alive. Sir, he's alive. What are you talking about? We were there. The whole camp was wiped out. No, I know that, but I heard... Look, I went into their LZ, and they... Wait, wait, you, you went into their LZ? The radio. I'm talking about a man named O'Brien. No, I'm not. Boozer, I'm not. I'm just... Hey, get some sleep. Get out. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. The start of this living hell that is now our life came as a surprise to no one who was listening to me when shit went down. I was one of the few. Most who spoke out against the feds, well, things didn't go so great for them. The cemeteries are filled with martyrs. Those who sought to call out the bullshit and the lies when they saw it. I know. Because they came after me. I started Radio Free Oregon in the last weeks before the feds fell. Broadcast from an unmarked van, moving from town to town. In the days before the roads came choked with cars and the bridges destroyed, trying in vain to stop the freaks. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. No, Cope, the cemeteries are filled with freakers, not martyrs. And you had to keep moving, because if anyone had found your unmarked van, they'd have blown it to hell. Just so we wouldn't have to listen to your bullshit Radio Free Oregon.
Medical site. I wonder if there's anything inside that mobile medical unit. Here it is. Oh, God damn it. Fuse blown. Okay, let's see. What's going on here? Oh, where the hell am I gonna get a fuse? Wait, no, not this way. This is it. All right, what have we got? Still got this. Oh, here we go. Never gets old. Oh, here we go. Good, that's it. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Black helicopters have been spotted in the skies. You might have seen them. Erna, thought you were losing your mind, but you're not. They're real. <laughs> Feels, yes. Th that I was right. We thought Nero died out here like the rest of them, no under their own is. stupidity. But no. I'll let you do like it. Like I said, they've been lying and wait all this time so they can crawl up out of their holes and reclaim them. Damn it. That's gonna bring them all down on me. But it ain't happening. Not on my watch. And don't go running towards them, thinking they're gonna save your ass. Any man wearing a uniform worth a damn died more than two years ago. He's gonna shoot you on sight. This is Mark Copeland for Red Lies. Right on target. Is that all of them? Yeah, Jesus. Shit! Yes, finally. All right. Now let's see what they've got there. What? Boom! You're in a Go, ma'am! You must what return to your vehicle. We will get in here for 12 hours. I've got two sick children in the back. We, we need... We don't have any water. Another in here. Ma'am, you must Good. return to your vehicle now. Eddie, you got some bottled water? Give it to her. Oh, we got left. Give it to her. Thank you. And okay. Go back to your vehicle. Yes. Oh, Jesus Christ. So many people. It's like Boozer said. Here we go. Backed up at these checkpoints. Another infestation zone. 